continuing with calculus uh, videos. Uh, this is again from 2010 10 exam paper of calculus of level 2. Okay, so it's a very lengthy question, so let's read it. A plaster molding is to be made. This is a plaster molding. The molding consists of two parts, a curved part and a rectangular part. So this is a rectangular part and this is a curved part. The diagram shows a cross section of the molding. This is a cross section. We are looking from, say, front. The height of the curved part above AB. So this is AB. So this is the curved part. At a distance x centimeters horizontally from A. X centimeters. We don't. This is say x. So x centimeters from A is given by this function. So basically, this is your x-axis. So what I'm doing is suppose let me draw. So this is your x-axis. And say this is your y-axis. Okay, so this is this is a curved part. Okay, and this is say zero zero. This is this is your zero, and this is some value of x. Okay, mm, I think so. Yeah. Uh, no, this is exactly two. Sorry. So this is exactly two. This is 2, because it says x is between 0 and 2. Okay. <clears throat> the rectangular section has a molding, has the dimension show, shown in the diagram. The total length of the molding is 3.5 meters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, in, yeah, okay, this is in meters. Okay, the x centimeters. Now, this is a tricky part. Okay, I, I read centimeters somewhere. This is x centimeters. So, this is in centimeters and this is in meters. So, the length is misleading word. It should be the depth. Okay, so this is you're seeing this from one side. So, actually, it's the depth like this. I hope you understand. Okay, it's a mole like this. Okay, so, the depth is 350 centimeters, 3.5 meters. Yeah, the depth or they're calling it the length. It's not this length, but the de depth. So basically, if you want to find the volume of this plaster to make the molding, you have to find the volume of the cross section times the depth or the height or the length, which is 350. So we'll first find the area of the cross section. Now, the area of this rectangle is 5 times 4, which is 20 centimeters squared. Yeah, it's centimeters here. Yeah. Yeah, it's very clear. So the area of this rectangle is very clear. The main question is you have to find what's the area of this curved surface. Okay. So yeah, you have, it's a very easy function. So basically, if, if you want to find the area of this, you have to do the definite integration of this between 0 to 2. So you can say area of curved surface area, curved area would be definite integration from 0 to 2 of this function, which is x cubed. As this is an excellence question, we need to show the working. So we'll go through the process. Plus 2.2 dx. I hope you understand dx is basically when you're finding the area, you find, you're splitting this into infinitesimally small rectangles okay so what i mean is imagine this is a infinitesimally small rectangle okay this is a small rectangle and the width is your dx and your length is y so what you're doing is you're adding up all the a the area of a rectangle is base times height. The base is dx and your height is y. So when you're integrating between 0 to 2 of this function, which is your y, this is nothing but y, you're adding infinite rectangles between 0 to 2 of this function, which is y. So this is nothing but your height. This is y, which is your height. And this is your width of all the infinite rectangles between 0 to 2. That's the intuition of integration. So this 
doing integration this is x to the power 4 over 4 minus 4x cube over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 plus 2.2x 0 to 2 so let's do the working so you have to substitute uh, 2 into this so this is 2 to the power of 4 is uh, 16 over 4 minus this is 2 cube is 8 8 times 4 is 32 thirds plus 3 times 4 is 12 12 over 2 plus 2.2 times 2 which is 4.4 and then you have to take away the lower bound so if you put 0 here this will become 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 so you're taking away 0 so this is nothing but 4 minus uh, 32 over 3 plus 6 plus 4.4 so now you can use a calculator which is when you run 4 minus 32 abc 3 uh, plus 6 plus 4.4 equal 3.733 so that's the 3.733 centimeter squared okay so the total area total area this is the curved area this is this area this is 3.733 centimeter squared and this area is 20 so the total area is 3.733 plus 20 which is 23.733 centimeter squared and volume is volume is area of cross section or cross section area cross section area times the length or the length so let's write let's write length length is the width okay or the height which is 23.733 times 350 uh, the answer would be centimeter cube so at plus 20 okay and uh, which is 23 point times it by 350 which is 8306 and two-third uh, centimeter cube 8306 so the answer is 8306 and two-third centimeter cube okay so I hope I have got the answer uh, that's the answer 8305 so they it's uh, it's they they haven't gone they haven't they have done the rounding here we haven't done the rounding so we both are right hopefully this video has been helpful and uh, because we have done the we have taken the complete number that's why we got 8306 this is a more exact answer. See you in the next.